Welcome to the Luxury Home Show. Today, you're joining me in the heart of Chelsea on London's oldest recorded street. Steeped in history, Old Church Street dates back to 1566, but today we're stepping inside a truly exceptional property that blends its rich past with a modern luxury you'd expect from a high-end London property. It's currently listed for £5.675 million with John D. Wood, and the agent's details will be just below the video. To set the scene slightly, at one end of Old Church Street, we have Chelsea Embankment, with a great view of the Thames and Old Church right on the end of the road. And on the other side, Old Church Street actually meets Kings Road, where there's an abundance of bars, cafes, shops, boutiques, and even an everyman cinema right on the corner. A few doors up, just behind me, this property actually sold for 73.2 million pounds just last year, and that's 209 times higher than the average house price in England and Wales. And a fun fact, back before she was Catherine, Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton actually used to own an apartment just around the corner. And here we are, this is today's property, just shy of 3,000 square feet, four bedrooms, three bathrooms. I'm sure you're just as eager to see inside as I am. Let's go. All right, come on in. And behind the period facade of this home, it is essentially a new build property, newly renovated with some sort of tips and nods to the old traditional period features like this archway. But come on through to the reception room first. So appropriate with the age of the property, we have a parquet herringbone flooring on the floor here. The room separated into a few sections. So we'll start off firstly in this lounge space. This is a nice social space to sit and enjoy some conversations with guests. It's a bit more formal. There's another lounge downstairs. So we'll show you that later. There's some period features in this room too. We've got the beautiful sash window at the very front, bringing some nice natural light in. We've got a marble fireplace just here with the original sort of ironmongery in there. Very characterful. And above that is a feature mirror here. So this is a foliage mirror from Pulp Studios and it's a brassy design, lots of leaves. And there appears to be a little like candle holder here as well, which is quite handy. There's lots of bespoke joinery all the way through this home, but this room in particular, lots and lots of storage space for books and things and cupboards through here. But come on down. We're stepping down onto what is a glass floor. So we can actually see downstairs, but also with the skylight above, all that natural light can feed through to the bottom and the lower parts of the house. We've got a nice seating area just here with a bifold door leading out onto the courtyard. Now in London, outside space is obviously very sought after and hard to come by. So to have this courtyard is a really impressive feature that kind of separates it from some of the more standard townhouses that you see in the area. When they were renovating, they were digging down uh, to build a basement level in the office that we're about to show you. They actually stumbled across a treasure trove of antique pottery, antique porcelain, which directly linked this home specifically to the famous Chelsea Porcelain Works. So it's an interesting piece of history there for you. There's plenty more to come, but we'll carry on the tour in this home office. Separate from the rest of the house, which is so key these days to getting that work-life balance just right and not working all the way through to your bedtime. You've got this separate, but also potentially, you know, if you're doing some home consultancy, it works really well. You can meet with clients, again, separate from the rest of the family and the house. I like that it's been kept quite industrial. It kind of reminds me of that old porcelain works uh, sort of factory feeling, got industrial lights up above and the whitewashed raw brick ceiling. And this skylight is giving us a lot of natural light, even shining down here because we actually have a home cinema just below. So let's check it out. And here we are. So whether you're here watching a film by yourself, maybe trying to get away from everyone or whether this room would just be dominated by the kids um, playing video games and sleepovers, etc., This is a great space to have in the home. And while we're here, it's also a great space for me to tell you about the giveaway we are currently running. We've partnered with Looking Glass Lodge, a contemporary cabin down about an hour away from London near the Kentish coast. Um, and you can actually win a two night free weekend stay. All you've got to do is be subscribed to the Luxury Home Show and join our email list so you can find out if you have won. This could be you. Now, there's a fairly unique layout in this house set over five floors. We're now going to go down one so that we can check out the kitchen. Come on down. So now that we're down in the kitchen, we have Italian marble worktops and it's a waterfall island, so it goes all the way down. That's the same on this side here. We've got high-end Miele appliances all the way throughout, so it's a bit of a chef's dream through here. We've got the rising extractor fan that comes up, so no extractor fan and a really interesting light just here. To my left on this side of the room, we have lots of storage cupboards with this kind of antique 
um, stained glass effect. And then just next to that, we have the fridge behind this one. So it's quite seamless. You wouldn't really know it's there. And there seems to be a lonely twirl in here by itself. I have to help myself. Yeah, the freezer is literally just below that there. To this side, obviously we have the sink, the sash window here, so some light can come down because we are sort of below ground floor here. There's also a separate access into the house here. So, you know, depending on what you wanted to use the property for, this could be a separate entrance to a self-contained apartment on the, the lower floors, but you'd obviously need to put a kitchen up there. But anyway, let's check out the living area down here. We have these pocket doors to keep the rooms separate and closed off, but it is essentially an, an open plan flow through here. This is where I imagine you would have your dining table, right next to the kitchen. Great spot to eat some meals, but come on through. And we're gonna step down here. So this is where we look down from up above, just earlier when we were upstairs before going out to the courtyard. Skylight at the top in the, the ground floor. Then we've got one above us, and then there's one down here as well. So the light really can just flow all the way down there. And this is a bit of a show-stopping lounge area, right? A real orange pop of color here. Lots of bespoke joinery yet again, and some, some nice lighting, which is obviously essential down in a basement part of the house. You can imagine having some drinks here after you finish at the dining table, chilling out, watching some, some TV over on the TV here on the wall. Now, a lot of you that watch these tours aren't subscribed, and that's cool, but if you wanna keep seeing better and better properties, just hit that subscribe button. It's gonna let us do that for you. We love bringing you the best house tours. The more of you watching, the more of you subscribing, the easier it is to bring that for you. But let's carry on with the tour downstairs. Now we're gonna head up to the principal bedroom soon, up on the first floor. I mentioned upstairs, this could be a sort of self-contained apartment down here. I think this is probably where potentially your, your living nanny would be staying. You've got a bedroom down here, the laundry room's just around the corner, and then there's a study, which could be maybe another bedroom with a bathroom just through there as well. There's a series of half landings as you work your way through this house. The first bathroom off of the entrance hall is just here. So this is essentially your kind of guest bathroom area. But now we're gonna head through into the principal suite, which is the first floor. So there are four double bedrooms throughout the whole property. The principal suite being the most luxurious of them all though. We've got a dressing area as soon as you enter with some mirrored cupboards. And we also have the bed space here. We've got a parquet flooring again so sort of setting it apart from the other bedrooms even further with that little touch. We've got sash windows at the front, some coving around, you know, a real, real principal suite look. We've even got the marble fireplace, similar to what we saw downstairs, um, just below the TV here. But if we go over to the sash windows, we can see the view out to some of the surrounding houses. But also just around the corner is Justice Walk. I mentioned some history about the house earlier. A bit more history for you. So Justice Walk was where the prisoners would take their last walk towards the Chelsea Embankment before boarding a ship towards Australia for the foreseeable future. Um, so yeah, an interesting little nugget of history about the house, but let's check out the bathroom now. So behind these frosted sliding pocket doors, we have a real luxurious bathroom. Marble pretty much everywhere in here, uh, apart from the ceiling. <laughs> We've got a Sonos system as well throughout the house. Uh, we saw that down in the kitchen below, forgot to mention it. Vanity unit, as you'd expect in a bathroom. Lots of nice mirror storage, shaving points in there as well. And you've also got the, the bath here with the shower just above and some nice niches for all of your products. Another half landing here with another bathroom, this one with a bath in it, similar style to the one we saw in the principal suite, slightly smaller. Skylight just above me here. Nice, a feature bit of artwork and a side table here just to sort of make it a bit more interesting. And then we've got two further bedrooms on this floor. Let's start in this one though. We've got loads of inbuilt storage towards this side of the room. Nice, loads of storage in there, hanging rails, storage up above, and the drawers. Is it all the same? Yeah, loads of storage in here. Wow. Nice seating area with, at the very top of the, the house now. And then here is your, your bed. Let's pop next door. Here's the bedroom here, slightly smaller. Sash window out, a beautiful view. Come and have a look at this. Just having a little sort of nosy towards the back. It's really interesting seeing some of the houses. So that's just this walk, just there. You see that pink house? Looks quite white probably to you guys. Yeah, very nice. And then this is your bedroom, and yet again, you've got more storage just over there.
Now that about brings us to the end of this tour. I hope you've all enjoyed checking out this townhouse with us. I loved exploring the area earlier today. Exploring a street so rich in history is amazing. I love these London house tours and it's thanks to you guys that we can do it. So subscribe if you are not. We can keep bringing you better and better tours. We've got some really exciting shoots coming up, so stay tuned. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Would you live here? This is an amazing location and I'm curious to know what you think. See you in the next one. Hi Luxury Home Show, welcome back, nice to see you again. I'm Sophie Patterson, interior designer, and welcome to my Hyde Park project. So sadly this time we are not filming my house, I wish this was my house, but